that it is possible for everyone, I mean, every single human being to be happy. It is possible for everyone to be happy. Okay, you're thinking, Ah, you know, whatever. I mean, you got to have this, you got to have that, you got to do this, you got to do that. I don't have this, I don't have these things, I don't have those things. Oh, you need to be married with children, you have to have a spouse, you have to have a partner, you have to have friends, you have a whole lot of friends, you got to have uh, 50,000 followers, you got to have 50,000 subscribers, you got to have money, you got to, I mean, everybody can be happy. Hi, Michelle, everyone can be happy. Hi, Crystal, everyone. Every single person can be happy. And then I thought to myself, why, why did that just come to me? Why, like everybody, everyone can be happy. I started thinking about my life. You know, the, I would say the first 25 years of my life, the turmoil, the pain, the abuse. I mean, it, I can go on and on and on. How did I go from that to completely transforming my life? to completely transforming my mindset. How did I even heal from all of that? How did I heal from all that? How is it that I can wake up every single day, despite what is happening, despite what's going on and be happy? How is that? I mean, look at my life, my childhood, you know, how I grew up, what had happened to, to me, my siblings, to all of us. Like, how is it that I created that? And so I sat down and I said, okay, if I were to pick three, six, nine are very powerful numbers, okay? If I were to pick six things, six keys, six things that helped me on that journey, six things that I do, six things that I do that keep, not just, I don't like the word make me happy, keep me happy. And I'm using happy for the sake of this video. I do prefer the word joy because joy, as I've mentioned before, is internal and it's eternal no matter what is happening in your environment despite whatever's happening nobody can take away joy from you no one can take joy from you happiness is kind of you know it's temporary and it's mostly external but for the sake of this video i'm going to use the word happy everyone can be happy and so i thought of these six things i started writing down my notes i write and read every single morning and i started writing down my notes i wrote six things that get, that help you to get and stay happy. And then I wrote underneath it, anyone can be happy. Number one, and I'm not trying to be all religious on you guys. Number one is God. Okay. Your faith, belief. You know, I don't know what it is you believe in. At the end of the day, it's God. Okay. It is God. Whatever you want to call him, you know, that is on you. This is not one of those kind of videos. I'm not here to do that. I judge no one. Who am I to judge? No matter what we call him, you can call him pencil. You can call him whatever. It's God, right? God. You have to have faith. There's got to be some form of spiritual relationship, something with God. There has, that is the foundation because no matter what is going on, no matter what is happening, no matter what you've lost, no matter what you have, no matter what, he's got you. There's a plan. There is a plan. I do believe everything happens with a purpose. He does nothing outside of purpose. So I, I, I do believe that, that having that spiritual foundation, having that relationship with God no matter what happens, you know whose you are. I know who I am because I know whose I am, right? So no matter what's happening, I always find having that connection to him, it, it gives me the understanding, the faith that no matter what happens, I know that this is happening for a reason, a season, for a lesson, something. I am supposed to learn from this. I'm supposed to grow from this. God is trying to show me something. Even when things are going crazy, even things when things are not going right, whether it's your finances, relationships, whatever it is, okay? There's a lesson to learn. There is something he is saying, something he is trying to show us, tell us. Right. If your relationship is failing, you know, if you're it, it, it's full of toxic to or whatever that word is, you know, if, if it's toxic, there's no peace. You're just at constant war. 
Yes, Bella, I'm going to save this live for sure. And it's going to be on YouTube as well. If you're at constant war with the person that you are with, God is saying, get away. Run for your life. If you are settling, you know when you are settling because you're not at peace. You're not happy. There's no true joy and happiness there. And, there, and, and the signs, we're constantly asking God for signs. God, give me a sign. God, give me a sign. What, what more signs do we want? When something is not going right, you need to go and grow, as Coach Stormy calls it and says it. Go and grow. Go, get out, get away. Go, leave, walk away and go grow. Take the lessons. Take what, you, what you've learned. What didn't you like? What did you like? It couldn't have all... It, there's no way it was all bad. There's no way it was all bad, okay? We get into relationships, majority, most of us, right? Because they're, they're fun and they're good and they're healthy and they're nice and they're, you know, everything respectful and things are great and, you know, there's passion, and, right? We get into these relationships because they're good at first. Okay, something happened. It's no longer good. It's no longer great. It's no longer healthy. It's toxic. You go. You go and you grow. You take the good, you take the bad, and you learn your lessons and you go and you apply them to the next relationship. Now you know you are you are 10 steps ahead. Now, now you know what you like. Now you know what you don't like. Now you know what works. Now you know what doesn't work. You know, what are some of the things you need to work on for yourself? Right? And I'm not saying you did anything wrong in a relationship or the other person, whatever, but we had a part to play. Even sometimes just entertaining the foolishness is taking responsibility for your part, right? Not walking away when you should have walked away. You got to take responsibility for your part. All right. So that is what happens when we are connected. When we have that connection with God. When we are spiritually grounded, right? We, we, you, you are always aware always aware you're not you're not being led by the blind you're always aware that that is you know and and there's always that joy comes in the morning no matter what happens joy comes in the morning that is number one so god i'm gonna say number one number two forgive and i'm not gonna stay too long on this because you guys know i talk about this a lot this is truly 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 a key to your happiness i don't care what anyone says this is a key to your happiness you've got to forgive You've got to forgive for, you know, carrying around unforgiveness and hate and animosity and, and anger. It's, it's like, you know, you're just, you're dying. You're dying every single day. You're dying just a little bit more. You're dying just a little bit more every day. Forgiveness is never about the other person. And sometimes it is. Sometimes that person knowing that you have forgiven them, that you've released them also helps them find their peace but it's mainly about you. It's about you. Forgiveness is about you. It's about your freedom. It's about your peace. It's about you moving on. It's about you opening up your heart. It's about you staying open. It's about you deserving. You feel like you're deserving of greatness and of love and of compassion and passion and all these great things that come from relationships. And I'm not talking just about intimate relationships. I'm talking, forgive your parents, forgive your siblings, forgive your ex-best friend, forgive your co-parent, your baby daddy, baby mama, whatever it is, forgive them. They gave you their best. And you, we have to recognize when people give us their best, they gave you what they had. They don't even have it in them to give you much more than that. We were trying to change people, make people do this, make people do that. Oh, I mean, you got to make me happy. This doesn't make me happy. I don't like the way you did this. I don't like the way you do that. You can't change people. They give you what they had. My parents gave me what they had. And when you start to understand it like that, it helps you to forgive easier. Understand their story. I'm sure what they did to you was done to them. You know, and, and uh, we, I mean, whether we're talking about parents, you know, if it's if it's an ex-partner, an ex-husband, an ex-spouse, an ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, they gave you what they had, right? And you got to forgive yourself. Forgiveness always starts with self-forgiveness. Forgive yourself for tolerating what you did. Forgive yourself for settling for something. Forgive yourself for being involved in a relationship for the wrong reasons, 
right? Forgive uh, whether that's uh, convenience, uh, uh, just your your board, money, finances, whatever. But you, you you've got to forgive yourself. You forgive yourself first for 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 doing what you for your part, right? For your part, and you release them. You release them. That is, oh my God, if I had to pick one out of the six I'm giving you, I would, ah, uh, no, sorry, I'm gonna, two, two. And even if I just said God, God gives you the strength. He gives you the courage to forgive. When you are grounded in God, when you are in, you know, with, with him, he gives you the courage to forgive and let go, right? It's the most empowering thing you can do. I created a, a course, a nine day course just on forgiveness. And for those of you who are struggling with forgiveness, go take, go, it's in, the link is in my bio, go download the course, go take the course. It's like, what, $9, $9, a dollar a day, a dollar a day, okay? And it's pre-guided meditations, there's a forgiveness ebook, there's uh, inspirational video messages, there's affirmations, right? Go, if, if forgiveness, unforgiveness is your thing, go click the link and go, go, go take the course, right? And YouTube, click the link right here below, I'll, I'll, I'll post it below, right? The third thing, your health, your health. Oh my God, your health. Some of us are walking around here like zombies, like zombies. We have no energy. We don't feel good. We don't look good. We're not being good. We're just walking around like zombies. Our soul is all over the place. You're unrested. You're just your mind. You're you're in five different places at five different times, and you're just all over the place, right? You're not rested. You're not sleeping. You're just you you you're, there's no peace. There's no peace within you. There's no peace within you when you are not healthy. When you are not eating healthy. When you are not moving your body. When you are not praying. When you are not connected. When you are not taking you know your supplements, right? These are my three. Two, I, I don't go anywhere without these. I take like twelve a day. Okay, I've got my energy for energy, energy for energy. I've got my multi-liquid high quality vitamin. I've got my blossomy. Any woman 40 and up needs to be on blossomy, right? Your, your health, your health is a big, big, big part of how you're feeling, of how happy you feel, the joy that comes from being healthy. If you are not healthy, you're not moving your body. You, you can't be happy. You just can't. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's, it's temporary happiness, you know, like, oh, little fixes here. You get on a plane, you go on vacation, a quick little vacation, you go away, you know, you out there acting like you happy and everything's all good. And you are a hot mess, a hot mess. Okay. Right. You know, you, you find a partner, a boyfriend, a quick fix here, there, whatever, uh, you know, you're, you don't feel good. You still don't feel good. You still don't feel healthy. You know, you get a new job and maybe you get a promotion at work and make a little bit more money and you feel happy in the moment. You're still not genuinely, truthfully happy when you are not healthy. It's just, it is what it is. And I know what that's like. I'm speaking from a person who felt like that before for many, many years. You know, for years, health wasn't even on my agenda. It wasn't even on my agenda. It wasn't even something I cared that much about. Right. So I know, I know that if you do not get your health in check, if you're not moving, if you're not exercising, if you are not taking your supplements, if you're not eating right, you cannot truly feel genuine happiness. It is what it is. That's number three. Number four, your environment. I could do a whole full day's workshop on this topic. Your environment, your friends, your relationships, your home, your space your environment, okay? That will have a huge part to play on your level of happiness, a huge part to play, right? If you don't have the right people around you, if you're just surrounded around busters, you're just busters, whatever, however you want to say it, okay? That's how you're going to feel, busted all the time. If you're not around people that make you feel happy to be alive, you need to check your circle. If you are not in a relationship that makes you feel glad, happy to be alive, a relationship that lights you up, a respectful relationship where you are respected, where you are glorified as a woman, yes, as his woman, as a man, as her man, where you're not respected, then you need to bounce. You need to change it up. Go and grow. 
go and grow. If you've got friends in your life that are constantly gossiping and drama and everything's negative and they're draining it, you know, or, or you can't walk out of the room and leave them in a room knowing they're going to do nothing but talk amazing things about you. If you think, if you have to think twice about someone in your life, you need to go. You need to go. You've got to check your circle. You've got to check your circle. You've got to check your environment. You've got to check your circle. You've got to check your relationships. You've got to check the people around you. Who do you call your bestie? Who's your bestie? Are they, are they do you really feel like they're like your friend friend, like 100%? You know, what are they, I mean, even think of it even as what are they doing? Are they living purpose driven lives? Are, are, are they are they learning? Are they growing? Because if not, you're just going to stay stuck with them. You've got to surround yourself around people that are learning, that are growing. That you you can learn something from them. They can learn something from you. We've there's, What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Whether that's your relationships, friendships, you know, what are we doing here together? What is the purpose of us being here together? And the number one thing, the number one, you make that, and I mean it, it's a deal breaker, is respect. That is a deal. If you are not being respected, you've got to walk away from that relationship. It's going to kill you. You will eventually become like them. Oh, yes, it's contagious. Toxicity, 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 how do you say the word? Okay, it is contagious. It is contagious. It'll bring out the worst in you. I've been there. It's the worst freaking thing. It's the worst thing when you start becoming like this toxic person that you have in your life. It's, it's deadly. It is deadly. It will kill your passion. It will kill your joy. It will kill your, you know, your level of inspiration and, and, and just momentum. It'll kill you. You won't even want to work out. You won't want to take care of yourself. You won't want to leave the house. You won't want to do anything. You don't want, you won't want to spend time with your friends because you're just afraid of them really knowing what's really going on in your life. It will destroy you. I feel so bad for women who are in relationships where that person is the main provider, is the provider, where she's got no money, she's got no job, she's got no friends. I mean, he met her that way. He probably met her with money, with job, with friends, with all that great stuff, her own business maybe. And slowly but surely, he just destroyed her with his negativity, toxic behaviors, the disrespect. So many women in relationships like this. And she's like a zombie, like a dead person walking because she, had no, she has no money of her own. She, she, she's got no friends. She's got no life. All, all, she, all she's got is him, a toxic, sick person as her partner, whether it's a husband, a boyfriend or whatever. I, I, I truly feel really bad for, for those women. I, 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 honestly, I was just speaking with one the other day, 20 years. She's been in this relationship 20, 21 years. And he was disrespectful from the beginning and just got deadly. And now she feels dead, dead, like just a dead person. I'm just walk, check your environment, check your environment. You know, you know who's, who those people are. You know who your real friends are. You know the people that you're wasting time with. You know the people that you don't trust, but you still got them in your, in, in your life, right? And even in your, even your home. Check your home, you know, your home, like what's going on at home? Is there arguing, fighting, yelling, right? What's going on in your home? My home is my sanctuary. We laugh, all we, all we do in this home is we laugh. We laugh and we love on each other. So check your home. And it's not to say that you can't fix things. You can fix your relationships with your kids. You can fix them. You know, know, know what, what it is you need to do to create a happier home, a happier environment for your children. Right. So number five, passion, passion. This is a big one. This is a big one, right? They're all big. These are the six things that I had to do and do to stay, to get and stay happy in my life, right? Passion, find something that lights you up, something that lights you up from the inside. It doesn't have to be something that you get paid to do, but you've got to find a passion, got to find a passion. 
you know, working out could be a passion, you know, it's maybe reading, you know, maybe sewing, drawing, you know, uh, photography, right? Graphic designing, learning another language, right? Something artsy, be creative. You've got to find a passion, find a passion and do it. It's not about pay. If that's your thing, if you want to move from passion to pay, you know, I was blessed enough to take my passion and turn it into a profitable business. But if, if that's, I've got oil burns. Yeah, oil burns. I had, there was water in the pot when I put the oil in there. If, if you don't have a passion, you've got to find a passion. And it doesn't mean that the passion has to pay you. It doesn't mean have passion in everything you do. Yes, Susie, yes. Everything you do. You've, you, you, and, and, and you know, I did a video on this the other day. It's for a, a new online course that I have coming out. Um, it, it's all for like uh, transformational development, personal development. And I spoke about passion and the importance of passion. When you find passion, when you are truly tapped into passion, okay, in one area of your life, it actually pours into the other areas of your life, right? So everything you do, you've got to do with passion. When you're doing the laundry, do it with passion. When you're with your children, be present with passion. When you're cooking, cook with passion. When you're taking out the garbage, even if hubby or your spouse didn't do it for the last two weeks, do it with passion. Everything you do, do with passion. And find that one thing, that one thing. That's going to give you passion, bring you passion, light you up from the inside, outside of work. Okay. So you've got a nine to five. I'm talking to my nine to fivers here, right? You've got a nine to five. You come home. I know you come home to clean, cook, take care of the kids, take care of the house, do all that great stuff that we as women, we moms and, you know, dads do too, right? You've got to find something that you, that's going to allow you to tap into a passion as well. Like I'm talking like something fun, something fun. If you could spend 20 minutes a day, half an hour a day on this passion, I'm telling you, this is life changing. It's life shifting. The amount of happiness and joy that that brings into your life, it's undescribable. It's un Once I discovered my passion, I have been since then, 50 plus years ago, I've been tapped into my passion daily, daily, daily. It's not a day that goes by where I'm not tapped in. Even if I'm away somewhere on vacation, I've got to tap into my passion, even if it's for an hour a day, half an hour a day. You know, even posting and sharing parts of my life and, you know, things to inspire you guys on social media. You think I do that because I'm bored? You think I do that because I need another like or another follow follower? No, no. I do it because I want to show you what it's like to, 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 to work on your health, to work on your body, to work, in, to work on your finances, to have extra streams of income, to learn, to read, to write, to grow. All these different parts of my life I share because I know if I did it, you can do it. If I did it, anybody can do it. And I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I'm on my way and I'm far from where I was. But I'm, I'm still learning and growing and looking for ways to make more money and extra streams of income and, you know, more passion and more great relationships and great friendships. And, oh, my God, my heart is on fire. So I post to, to, to show you that you can do this. So find a passion, find a passion and do all things with passion, all things. Okay, number six, the last one, learn. Learn, 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 learn. Be in constant learning mode. Constant learning mode. What does that mean? Read, right? Every morning I sit here on my couch. Right now I'm just, I'm, I'm rereading. I read this in like two days. I'm rereading so many gems in here. Um, Nine Laws of Success by uh, Coach Stormy. Attract health, love, life, love, life and success to your life, and then think and grow rich, right? So every day I'm reading, every day I'm reading, every day I'm watching motivational videos on YouTube, every day, every day. I start my morning with something short, 
while I'm getting ready, it's playing in the background. I'm just walking around with the phone and it's playing, brushing my teeth, washing my face, cleansing, doing my thing, making my coffee, whatever, and it's playing, right? So be in constant learning mode. Surround yourself around people that you can learn things from, right? Find mentors. A mentor doesn't even have to be somebody you see. It doesn't have to be somebody you even talk to personally. It could be somebody online. Coach Stormy is someone I really look up to, you know, prior to going to Atlanta a couple of weeks ago, I had never met her, right? But I consider her a mentor. I don't have to be around her. I don't have to be talking to her. I have to be friends with her, right? Find yourself a coach, right? Get, find a coach. There's coaches everywhere, right? Find yourself a coach. Find yourself a coach who's doing something you want to do, who's overcome something you're trying to overcome, who's experienced something you're trying to experience. The third one is community. That is huge to the learning aspect of this community. Find a community. You cannot possibly do this alone. You cannot possibly grow alone. It's not going to happen. Find a community. There's Facebook groups. There's meetup.com. Go to networking events. Go to events. Invest in yourself. Learn. Take courses. Take master classes. You've got, if you're, if, if the more, the, the more you learn, the smarter you feel, the smarter you feel, the better you feel, whether you're, you know, coming into a new relationship, meeting new people, sitting in a boardroom at a networking event, you know, when you know that you're in constant learning mode and you have something to bring to the table, you know how dope that is? That makes you a really dope person, like really dope. Like you just taught me something. Oh, I didn't, you know, and when, listen, I never pretend like I know it all. When I'm in a room or I'm at a networking event and I'm around other women, other people, and they say something and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. I just learned something new. Right. Or if I don't know something, you know what? I don't even know what that word means. What does that mean? I, I am not afraid to like, listen, I don't care because I know who I am. I'm, I'm confident. I know who I am. It's okay. I, I'm asking because I want to learn. I want to learn. So be in constant learning mode. There's no possible way you could ever know it all, not in an entire lifetime. So that is the sixth one. Learn, learn, read, study, find a mentor, find a community, find a coach, take courses. If you're not learning, you're not growing. And those are my six. I'm telling you right now, no matter what is happening around you, no matter what is going on, no matter what has happened, no matter what your finances look like, no matter what, you can be happy. You can be happy. You do these six things and you will see the difference. Six things, and they're simple. None of these cost money, maybe except for not even learning. Learning, there's YouTube. Learning, there's free Facebook groups. There's meetup.com. You there's there's okay books. You might have to invest in a book. You might have to buy a book. You have to buy a little course. Go to udemy.com. U D E M Y. It's an online school. There's no courses on there more than fifty dollars. Everything you can think of, anything you've ever wanted to learn, is on udemy.com. Okay. Anybody can be happy. Anyone can be happy. And if you, if your bank account is on zero, minus zero, if you, you know, you're, you're broke, you don't have money, maybe you're on government assistance, I don't know what the story is, been there, done that all, okay? Find a way to make some money. Find a way to make some money, uh, legal, obviously, okay? Find a way to make some money. Find another job. If one job, if you're still broke and have nothing and you're working one job, just Find another job. It won't be for long. Maybe you'll have to work two jobs for two years. Start a side business. We're in the world right now of side businesses, side hustles, they call them. I don't really like the word side hustle, okay? You can start a network marketing company. It's one of my probably top streams of income. Find something that you are passionate about selling. Is it makeup? Is it skincare? Is it supplements? Everything in your network marketing business is already done and created for you. You just have to sell. That's it. Right? 
So if you're thinking, I can't be happy because I don't have money, well, fix that. Fix it. Fix it. Renew your mind. Romans 12, verse 2. Transform your mind so that you can transform your life. Stop thinking I'm poor. Stop thinking I don't have money. Stop thinking like that and find a way to go make it. Find a way to get out of debt. Pay it slowly. Pay it off slowly. Find a way to save a little bit of money every week from your paychecks, right? You can do all of these things. We have it in us to do all of the above. There are no excuses. You can do this. You got this. I'm telling you, you got this.